on August 1st, 2017, the world was introduced to OKKO Let's Be Heroes. And ever since the show ended in 2019, people around the world have praised the show for its stylish animation, relatable characters, and unique art style. And honestly, I have to ask, did I watch the same show as everybody else? Because watching an episode of OKKO OK is like watching one of those car crash videos where you see a body fly out of the windshield and fall onto the concrete head first. It's sick, it's disgusting, and it honestly shouldn't even exist, which I think pretty much sums up this entire show. OKKO OK fails at everything it tries to do. The animation is complete crap, the voice acting is inconsistent and annoying as all hell, and the quote-unquote story is so bare-bones and generic that I could probably find a terrorist beheading video with a more engaging plot. But why exactly is OKKO OK so terrible? Well, hi, I'm the PNG Tuber, and today we're going to be talking about how OKKO, OK Let's Be Heroes, might be the worst cartoon in the history of the Cartoon Network, right behind Summer Camp Island. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the writing. This show is the definition of low XD random humor. Like, seriously, this show has plots that you'd expect to see in a fucking baby show like Paw Patrol. Except Paw Patrol isn't stupid enough to do an entire fucking episode about gun control. And can we just talk about that episode for a second? Let's not be skeletons or some dumb shit like that. Think of every Wendy's stupid fucking skeleton race which turned you into a skeleton. Which I guess is a metaphor for how guns turn you into dead bodies. But in the episode, when you turn into a skeleton, you're still able to live your daily life and kill other people. That sounds like the plot of a shitty universal horror movie. And moving away from the dog shit story of the show, let's take a look at the animation. Nope, no, nope, never mind. I can't look at the shit for too long without losing my sight and having hair grow on my hands. Although, that may be related to something else. Hmm. Anyway, this is some of the worst, most inconsistent, shittily made animation that I've ever seen in any cartoon. And Cartoon Network should be ashamed of themselves for ever allowing this crap to go to air. It's like this show was animated in a Chinese sweatshop, except all the workers broke their hands putting together Teen Titans Go! branded lunchboxes. Like seriously, did nobody stop for a second and say that OKKO OK looked like a clump of monkey shit smeared across a dirty car window? Or was everybody too afraid to say that this show looked like shit because of the cancerous amounts of wokeness that the Democrats forced them to include in this show? Long audible expression of exasperation. Why is it that the Democrats are always responsible for ruining my favorite cartoons? Can't they stick to fucking up any other industry like fashion or healthcare? What is it about cartoons that just attracts lonely liberals? And lastly, let's talk about how Cartoon Network treated this show. And it's probably the rare case of the network being too nice to one of their shows. Because holy shit, this show lasted two years longer than it ever should have. The creator apparently came out and said that OKKO OK was cancelled because the executives didn't see the potential. And to me, that makes complete sense. OKKO OK has negative amounts of potential because not only was the concept for this show fucking stupid, the execution was so god awful that you think you were watching the black guy get electrocuted in the green mile. But in the end, let's just be thankful that OKKO OK was put out to pasture like a rabid dog. Because if it had come out any later, then it might have been picked up by HBO Max. And we would have been subjected to who knows how many more seasons of cartoon crap. Anyway, with that said, those are all the reasons why OKKO OK was a terrible show. You know, it's kind of weird to finally review a cartoon that mainly sucks because it's a piece of unoriginal, bland, pandering, and poorly animated dog shit rather than it just being woke propaganda. Although, I should make myself clear, OKKO OK is still both of those things. Either way, I'm a PNG tumor pissing on my computer monitor while it plays an episode of OKKO OK and signing off. Bye! Thank you.